These are the instructions for the evidence for evolution slideshow that we are compiling as a class. So we're doing this because theories are supported by evidence and evolution is a scientific theory um, and like all theories it's supported by a preponderance or a whole 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 tons and whole whole lot of evidence. And so this slideshow is just a compilation of a few of the many pieces of evidence that support the theory of evolution by natural selection. So each student is going to get two slides about one topic or one general piece of evidence. So the first slide will just be an overview of that topic. You'll have a description of that piece of evidence, a general picture or diagram, and then you'll cite, you'll put your citations for that slide on the, at the very end of the presentation. The second slide is going to be a specific example of that type of evidence. So you're going to need a picture of a specific piece of evidence, an explanation of that specific example, and then you'll put the citations for that one on the last slide as well. And I'll show you in a little bit what I expect from you there. So here is my example. I chose to use transitional fossils as a piece of evidence for evolution over time. And so generally, I have a picture on the right. And then my general description or overview says that the remains of organisms fa are found in sedimentary rock layers. So the deeper the layer of rock, the older it is. And therefore, the deeper the fossils are, um, in the ground, the older the organism is. And so what this tells us about transitional fossils is that fossils at different levels, right, they're going to be similar but have small changes from the ones above or below them or from um, later or earlier in time. So seeing these transitional fossils, you can see the incremental change of organisms over time. And my general picture over here to the right is of horse evolution, and it also gives you the time period. So now the second slide, right, is for a specific example. And so I chose the specific example of whale evolution and the transitional fossils that demonstrate that. So on the left, you can see my picture is a phylogenetic tree um, of the ancestry of current and extant, which means living, currently living, dolphins and whales. And in that tree, you can actually see to the left, it gives a description of exactly which trait, which new trait has been um, introduced or has developed. So the ancestors of whales were land mammals that adapted to an aquatic habitat and as you can see in the diagram it's over 15 million years. How do we know this? Well one of the main things to look at um, is their skull. So common whales and or current whales and dolphins have a special um, ear bone or part of their skull near their ear and that is unique to whales, it's different than any other skull of any other mammal or organism ever. And so, there are specific fossils that also share that skull shape. So that would be evidence that perhaps current whales are descended from um, fossils that have similar ear bones. Also, you can see that from Pachycetus, back there which has feet and a tail. You can see the nostril hole at the tip of the skull right here. And you can see that over time that nostril hole has moved up and up and farther up the skull to where now it's a blowhole on the top of dolphin and whale heads. So that's another piece of evidence about that. Strangely enough, although whales and dolphins, they don't have legs, they don't need a pelvis for anything, um, they do have a vestigial pelvis and some 
species also have little vestigial legs inside their abdomen, which is just real weird. Also, their flippers, so their flippers, right, just used for swimming. On the outside, they're these solid structures, but inside, they have the same bones as all other mammals and even birds. Um, so they have a a humerus, one long bone coming off of the shoulder area, what would be the shoulder area. Um, two bones after that, which on us would be like a radius and an ulna. A group of many small bones, which for us would be our wrist. And then five we have five finger bones, and so that's kind of what it would be in a whale, too. So they don't need hands, they don't need elbows, um, but they have all of those same things that a ancestor that did need to walk and have all of those things would have. So that's another piece of evidence. So that's my basic example. So each of you has... Um, has been assigned one. So, Francisco, you're doing a different example of transitional fossils. Um, Courtney, you're going to be doing endosymbiotic theory. Mm. Nick, you're going to be doing artificial selection. Diego, you're going to be doing vestigial structures. Oh, yep. Yeah. And that's all for that. And then I'm pretty sure my e-block, everybody had one assigned already. So that's good. And with that, don't forget on your slides, um, for the citation part, you just need to put next to the slide number, which I already have, your name in parentheses, and then the website that you found your information from. If it doesn't fit on one line, you can take off the www and the HTTP part. Um, you can also use smaller font, but I would really like it if you have it all on one line. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. So you can see whoever's doing slide 24 right here, they didn't put their name, so I have no idea who did that one. Um, and there we go. So those are the instructions. If you have questions, please email me tonight, and I will be happy to get back to you. Also, if you're going to be absent on Friday and you know you're going to be absent, please let me know so that I can um, do yours for you, but you still need to complete it so that I actually have something to read and show the class. All right, so that's it. Please let me know if you have questions. Uh, yeah, go team.